What's up mga kap? We have another comment that I'm going to make a video and this video is dedicated to Rosanne Benedicio. Her question is, Hi Cap, what are the pathways or programs for permanent residents aside from the AIP? And of course, I have been working as a nurse for more, more than four years and if I wanted to apply as a personal support worker, where should I send my credential to WES or NNAS? Hoping for your response. Thank you, Cap. So there are three highlights that I'm going to discuss on this video. Number one is, is there any other program aside from EIP to become a permanent resident if you're a registered nurse? And the second highlight is, what is the difference between WES and an NNAS? And of course, Puma, Cap, we will talk about the opportunities that we're going to share with you here at Cap Unity Canada. So if you're ready, let's begin. What's up mga Kap? It's me Kap Joey of When in Halifax, the founder of Cap Unity Canada, an immigration agency and a licensed recruitment agency together with my partner, Lisa. Before we answer the question, Pumakap, I just want to share my location right now. As you can see, Pumakap, at my back, it's Atlantic Superstore. At here is the NSLC. I'm going to flip my camera. Here you go. So that's the Atlantic Superstore. That's the parking space, Pumakap. Beside the Atlantic Superstore, there's a bed, bath, and beyond. There's a winner's. Clev sports uh, source for sports and of course there's a gap here on my side and another one is a NSLC I just want to highlight Puma if you're coming here in Nova Scotia particularly and you love to drink wine you love to drink your favorite black label no this this is the only store Puma Cup. you can buy your beer your brandy in NSLC so you cannot buy your beer in Atlantic Superstore, which is just this corner. You cannot buy your beer in Walmart, but only in the SLC. So if you're coming here in Canada, always remember, if you want to buy a beer, NSLC. All right, let's go back to the question. First question, Roxanne, aside from the EIP, there's any other program that you can be a permanent resident. Ayan. So actually, there's several ways to be a permanent resident here in Canada, most especially if you are a registered nurse. So number one is there is the option of EIP. If you don't know the program, um, I want to share to you the video that we created. Here you go. There's an English version. And of course, if you are Filipino, I'm going to share also the link on the description below our webinar with my partner, Miss Amelia Ajok, wherein we discuss the EIP program um, more detailed. Yeah. So if you are Filipino and you want to learn more about EIP, we have a free webinar that we conducted, I think, two weeks ago with my partner, Miss Amelia Ajok, a licensed immigration consultant. The link is on the description below. But again, the first option if you want to be a permanent resident is the EIP or Atlantic Immigration Program. The second one is the Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Program occupation in demand so these are the two pathway that you can be a permanent resident another option is by studying here in canada and of course studying a psw or a cca here in nova scotia then after is getting a post graduate work permit and then once you're a pgwp you can apply for either eip or nspnp which is you are already inside Canada so there's an advantage if you're going to study here in Canada because you have the opportunity to meet in person the employer and you will have also the opportunity to show your skills and talent because you are allowed to work here in Canada while you are studying so that's the best pathway for a nurse here in Canada, the AIP, NSPNP. But remember, Puma Cup, there's a 13 provinces here in Canada. There, each provinces they have their own nomination program. The one that I mentioned to you, the AIP, NSPNP, is only here in Nova Scotia or Atlantic Province. Why Atlantic Province? Because I mentioned about the AIP. The AIP program is for the Atlantic provinces, which is here. Here's the list of Atlantic provinces. We have Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, 
Prince Edward and of course the new fun land so again po mga kap, if you're going to ask me what are the pathways to become a permanent here in Nova Scotia I will mention AIP and NSPNP so what's the difference between WES and NAS so NNAS is for accreditation of your experience as a registered nurse your education your legitimacy of your license so the NNAS purpose is to evaluate your nursing experience the purpose of NNAS to evaluate your work experience to evaluate your license in the Philippines so once they evaluated it they were going to compare your nursing experience your nursing experience in Canada so are they much or not so NNA's purpose is to evaluate your nursing profession always remember that N N N A S. the keyword for that is the nurse the letter N the meaning of NNAS is National Nursing Assessment Service. So it's an NNAS wherein you're going. So it's an NNAS. So that's why the NNAS is assessing your nursing experience. NNAS is totally different from WES. Totally different from Education Credential Assessment. NNAS is not required in immigration. So the immigration requirements to evaluate your education, it's WES, or we call it Education Credential Assessment. So if you are going to evaluate your education, your college degree, it is Education Credential Assessment. And one of the provider or services is WES. So if you're going to compare, they uh, compare the WES or the education credential to NNAS, they are totally different, okay? Totally different because NNAS is not required in immigration. Only the education credential assessment is required in immigration. NNAS is not, again, required in EIP. It's not required in NSPNP. It's not required in the express NT. NNAS becomes a pogi points or additional points if you are applying as a continuing care assistant in some institution. I just want to highlight some institution because some institution, most especially the big institution, the big nursing home, they required an NNAS application. It means, it, it means that it doesn't mean that you're already done with NNAS. As long as you have an NNAS account. So this is one of the requirements of the employer. It's not required but an optional. So if you have an NNAS, it adds an additional points to you. So if you're going to ask me, do I need to have an NNAS? The option is yours. My suggestion is yes because it's ad additional points to the employer. But it's not, it's required. No, it's optional because again, um, it's your choice always, all right? So I hope I'm able to answer your questions. Again, Pumakap, to all our cops that are watching right now. If you have questions, comment it below. Maybe your question is not my next video. Again, Pumakap, we are here in Chain League. You can see here at the, my back, I don't know if it's clear, NSLC, Atlantic Superstore, and of course, the Bayer's Lake. Medyo mahangin na ang buhok ko, ah. Ayan po mga kap. So ayan po yung uh, um, Bayer's Lake And you can see how beautiful Nova Scotia Ayan, Halifax, Nova Scotia At least you have a glimpse how beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia Again po mga kap, maraming maraming salamat for joining me today And I hope I'm able to answer your questions If you have more questions, comment it below Because maybe your comment or your questions in the comment section is my next video. Thank you very much, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.